This is a safe. And this is a $4,000 pitching machine that can throw a baseball 110 miles per hour. Now inside this safe, my brother put something very expensive. I have no idea what it is, but he promised me what is inside this safe is something that I really want. And he said the only way I can get what's inside is if I break it open with that pitching machine. So we're gonna see if it is possible. Can a baseball break open a safe? Most people use sledgehammers. Some people use a drill. Some people call the locksmith, not me. I am using a baseball. Now, I have no idea if this is physically possible, but I want to know what is inside this freaking safe. So we're going to see, okay? Let me know in the comment section below if you think it's even possible. It might take one pitch, it might take a thousand. I don't know. Now, we had to be a little safe because I don't know what's going to happen when a baseball at 100 miles per hour hits this. So we built this little backstop thing. I'm not going to lie. Literally the cheapest thing I've ever seen in my life. It barely stays up, so there's no way this works right. But let's go show you the setup. We've already been slinging some pitches at this black mat right here. And you can see it's pretty accurate. So I'm going to put this safe on that chair, and we're going to start hitting it. And to start, I'm just going to hit the back of it just to see what kind of damage it does. And then we're going to spin it around and go directly right at it and uh, hopefully break in. Let's go. Okay, now again, this is a pitching machine that can throw 110 miles per hour. It's pretty insane. So we're gonna turn it on. And once this light turns green, we are ready to break open this safe. I just really wanna know what's inside. Is it money? Is it gold? Is it a baseball card? I have no idea, but we're gonna find out at the end, I hope, or else we will never know what's inside. Okay, this is how the setup's gonna be. There is going to be a camera behind the pitching machine, and then I'm gonna be very close to the safe. I really hope I don't get injured. That would be unfortunate, but we're gonna see what happens. Again, let me know what you think is gonna happen. I think we're gonna break in. Okay, direct hit, let's go look at the damage. It pushed right in and you can see the whole back is pretty much already all the way in. So I'm assuming two or three more hits, we're already gonna be in, I think, I don't know. If this actually breaks it open in three hits, come on. Now I did buy this at Walmart, so it's not the greatest safe ever, but Let's keep going, baby. Yeah, and this safe was like 70 bucks. So it was not like a $10 safe. 70 bucks for this. And literally two or three pitches, we could be in. So I don't know. All right, pitch number two. Let's see what happens. Boom, that hit it perfect. Do another one. <laughs> oh my God. See that? Okay, I hope that camera got it. That ball hit and went straight up in the air. If that net was not there, it's gone. It's hitting some kid riding their bike. I won't lie, this is insane. This pitching machine is incredible. We are gonna have so much fun. Miss, boom, wait. Okay, I think we have connected like three or four times now. I kind of lost count. We kind of did a little bit of a rapid fire right there. But let's look at the damage. As you can see, the back is literally almost all the way off. I can see directly inside the safe. Um, so this safe, not able to hold up to a baseball. Again, this is coming in at about 100 miles per hour. So if you're a thief out there and you're trying to break into a safe, I would just get a pitching machine because honestly, this is working so good. I'm assuming two or three more hits we're in. Let's keep going. And to make it a little interesting, since we're about in the back, we're gonna spin it around and see what happens here. I'm assuming there is gonna be an explosion. Wait, does this still work? Oh, it does still work, okay. And I have no idea what the safe code is, so let's go. Direct hit, oh my God. Yeah, so uh, that was a direct hit. It's laying face down. I don't know if it's broken or not. I'm assuming it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, one hit, squared it up. Ow, just cut my finger. God dang it, but yeah, I guess let's hit it again. See what happens, let's go. Yeah, I really cannot believe how well this is working. Like literally it is perfect. It takes two or three hits, boom, you're in. Like literally, the accuracy of this machine is incredible. Again, we're zooming these in at about 100 miles per hour, but let's see if we can finally get in with this hit. Let's go, baby. All right, so we're gonna do three rapid fires in a row. Let's go, baby. Miss. Oh. Um, well, that didn't work, but let's go look. Okay, you can see exactly where it hit. Right there. Pretty, uh, pretty accurate, but honestly, the front is doing pretty good. I mean, if you don't hit this, it's not really doing any damage. So should we keep hitting it here or should we flip it around? Let's do one more here. I really want to see the damage we can do right here. And then we'll flip it around and break this thing open. Again, there is something hidden in this safe. I have absolutely no idea what it is. It better be worth it because my brother said, buy a safe, I'll put something expensive in it. You can break the safe open and get what's inside. So if this isn't more than $70, I am going to be so sad, but let's hit it again. Oh God. Almost just broke my car's windshield. I really wish you could have seen how far that went. I am not kidding. It went 200 feet. It hit the top of my car, 
If that would have broke my windshield, I would have cried. God dang it, dude. So this is where we were hitting the safe and that's how far it went. It almost hit my windshield off that white car. I would have cried, but we're good. We survived. All right. So my windshield almost broke. So we are gonna flip this back around and we're gonna break this thing open. It's so close. I'm assuming two or three more hits we're in. Oh my God, one more hit, I think we're in. Okay, look at the safe, people. We are like all the way in. It's completely disconnected off the top and the sides. There's just a little bit at the bottom. One more hit, I think we're in. Okay, so my other camera died because it was so hot, but we have a new camera. Let's go, one or two more hits we're in, I'm telling you. Let's see it, partner. I think we're in. I think we're in, baby. Okay, so we're all the way in. Like literally, it's completely disconnected. Um, this safe is terrible. It took about five or six 100 mile per hour fastballs to break into it. And now let's go see what my prize is. I swear, if this is stupid, I'm gonna be so sad, completely off. I guess it's still held up here, but I mean, look at this. I can just rip this off. But now is where we find the present. Quality. This would not be a good ad for whoever built this safe. Do not say it could withstand baseballs no it cannot so i'm assuming a like a hammer or something could get in this in about two seconds but it's you've got to be kidding me come look at what my president is i did all that damage for a pack of powdered donuts three hostess donuts powder at least they're powder but three you couldn't even give me the eight pack like, how did you even find a three pack? What did this cost, a quarter? You've gotta be kidding me. But look at the damage this baseball did. Like, I mean, dude, this is out. Here is the back of the safe, completely destroyed. Like, look how bent that is. It is so hot, by the way. Oh God, it is so hot. But yeah, that's uh, it's a lot of damage right there, people. That is a lot of damage. A lot of you also wanted to see like what a slider and what a splitter looks like on this machine. So I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna show you like two or three pitches of each just so you guys know how disgusting this pitching machine is. Okay, here are three four seam fastballs. Strike. Strike low. Boom, four seams. Okay, in my opinion, this is the dirtiest pitch this machine throws. It is a splitter, and we're also gonna show you the, uh, the miles per hour on it. Gross. 100. Gross. 96. One more here. Yeah, no one's touching that. 98. Okay, here is a right-handed curveball. <sighs> Gross. 90 on that one. Ooh. 92, one more. Yeah, good luck hitting that. Now this is a slider. This one should be pretty disgusting as well. God, that is so quick. 95. That one went down and into a righty with a right-handed slider. Don't know how that's possible. Honestly, not that good. I feel like the curveball was better. Let's do one more here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 91. Yeah, and here's the knuckleball. This one really doesn't look good. It's just a little bit slower than everything else, but yeah, it's going right. That's like a two-seam fastball at 81. God, I mean, it's a dirty pitch. 83, let's do one more. Why not? Yeah, I hit that ball two, 250 feet. No, wait, no, that's not even a home. What? And to close it out, we're gonna give you three of the fastest pitches this machine can throw. Here we go, one. Good luck. 109. Number two. 109. And number three. 108. Good luck. Well, there you guys have it. Baseballs can indeed break open a safe. Now, if you're locked outside and you need to get into your house, maybe get a pitching machine and launch some balls right at the door. Maybe you can get in. I don't know. I am a little bit sad that our present was indeed the three powdered donuts. I wish it would have been at least the six pack or whatever, but whatever. I'll take those three donuts and uh, enjoy them, I guess. Yeah, if you guys have any other video ideas like this one, let me know in the comment section below. We will definitely try it out. Um, again, we're still new with this pitching machine, so I'm sure we can get different camera angles. We can record it better, but we're just working with it, okay? It's gonna take some time to perfect it, but I think that was pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button if you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.